A great way to prepare for completing the self-reflection is to begin by updating your document vault. The document vault acts as a virtual filing cabinet to store your program's handbook, policies, and other important evidence you may use for Great Start to Quality. Any evidence added to the document vault will be readily available for you to use in your self-reflection. Let's take a look today at how to use the document vault. To access the document vault, you'll need to log into your organization profile and select the document vault tab as I've done here already. You will then need to select the blue manage button. The first time you open the document vault, you will notice it says no documents have been added. It also shows the type of files that are accepted so you can prepare your evidence ahead of time before adding them to the document vault. You will want to make sure the evidence is saved as one of these document types on your computer, tablet, smartphone, or any other device you will be using to add evidence. As a tip, make sure you clearly name the evidence for easy uploading. For example, scanned documents, screenshots, and photos are often automatically saved as a random series of letters or numbers. Therefore, it can be helpful to update or rename them so you can easily locate them on your device and upload them into the document vault. Once your evidence is saved, you are ready to begin adding it to your document vault. You can begin adding your evidence using the plus file button located at the right. Once the plus file is opened, select the plus find files button to locate the evidence saved on your device. You can then locate the file you wish to upload. Click on it and then select open. You will now notice that the file has been added. The next step is to select a file type. Choosing a file type can help you locate the evidence later as you use it for Great Start to Quality. The file type choices are Eckers 3 Self-Assessment, Bickers 3 Self-Assessment, Itters 3 Self-Assessment, and SEL PQA Self-Assessment, and other. You will select one of the self-assessments when you are adding that specific evidence to the document vault. All other evidence, such as the handbook, policies, or other evidence for your self-reflection, should be labeled as other. You will notice the Save button is unavailable until you have selected a file type for each file added. Once selected, the Save button will highlight in blue. Now at this time, I'm going to upload more evidence. This time, though, I am going to upload multiple pieces of evidence at the same time. You can do this by selecting one piece of evidence and then holding down the control key on your keyboard and selecting the other pieces of evidence you wish to upload. You will notice that each of the three I've selected are highlighted and I can now select open. Now I will need to go through and add a file type for each. These two are my evidence that I'm using for my self-reflection. So I'm going to select other. This piece of evidence, however, is my SEL PQA self-assessment for my school-age classroom. So I will pick that option and select Save. You will notice that each document also has a red trash can or delete button next to it. If for any reason you decide that you no longer need a piece of evidence in the document vault, you can select the delete button to remove it. When you select delete, you will get a pop-up to make sure you want to delete that file. If you do, select yes. If you do not or are unsure, select no. Now that you have added your files, you will see them in your document vault at any time. If you see the name of the file, but you are unsure as to what it is, or if you uploaded the correct piece of evidence, you have two options. You can click the name of the file and it will download for you to open and review. You can also select the download button located next to the delete button and review it as well. Keep in mind, you do not need to eat, add all of your evidence at the same time. The document vault can be accessed at any time. Once opened, you can add additional files or delete or download the existing files. Once finished, you can select the return button to take you back to the organization profile. You will see when I am back in my organization profile in the document vault tab, I can see my previously added files and click on them to download. There is no option here to add or delete evidence. In order to add or delete evidence, you will need to click the blue manage button. 
Remember, the document vault is meant to serve as your virtual filing cabinet to store your program's handbook, policies, and other important evidence you may use for great start to quality. Any evidence added to your document vault will be readily available for you to use in your self-reflection. Now that you know how to use and update your document vault, you are ready to start adding your evidence. If at any time in the process you have questions, simply scroll to the bottom of the screen. Here you will see the contact information for Great Start to Quality. You can reach us by phone at 1-877-614-7328. You can email us at greatstarttoquality at ecic4kids.org or you can visit our website at www.greatstarttoquality.org to find guidance documents and more videos like this one to support you through each step of the process.